So a few months ago, one of the regular viewers of this channel requested that I make a video to explain why it's so common for foreign men to get into relationships with Lithuanian women. This same person has made comments on this topic several times, and those comments have always stood out to me as being somewhat negative towards Lithuanian women. I wish I could find these comments so I could quote them directly, but it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And I did successfully find a few once upon a time, but then I lost them somehow. So you'll just have to take my word for it. But to summarize this person's opinion and position, or at least my interpretation of it, they are essentially saying something along the lines of, Lithuanian women seem to be more prone to getting into relationships with foreign men, and it's such an Eastern European thing to do. Oh, it's a pretty loaded and heavy subject to tackle, but if you're willing to sift through logic, culture, sociology, and some statistics with me, I think maybe we can make sense of things. Before going further, I have to put it out there that all of this examines heterosexual relationships only. Sorry I can't be more inclusive or comprehensive on this one. So first off, I think most Lithuanians watching, male or female, will take issue with being called Eastern European. Here's a little news flash. It's not funny. In fact, it's pretty freaking unfunny. And it's essentially because many people in this part of the world have a certain idea of what an Eastern European person is like. And it's usually negative. I cover the whole debate in another video, which you should check out after watching this one. Without that person unpacking what it means to be a typical Eastern European woman, I think I get a sense of what they're talking about, just from context. But I think this article I found on matadornetwork.com discussing Eastern European women stereotypes is a good place to start. The article says that stereotypes about this group include the fact that, number one, they will do anything to emigrate, two, they can't function without a man, and three, they're all gold diggers. There are a few more on the list, but these are the stereotypes about Eastern European women that I find are the most relevant to our discussion. So I feel like some people, or at least one person, feels like Lithuanian women are going after foreign men in a manner that fits a series of negative stereotypes about Eastern European women. Well, as a foreign man married to a Lithuanian woman, I'm obviously going to take issue with the assertion, if I'm understanding things accurately. Obviously, it would be rather insulting to call anyone's spouse a gold digger. You don't want to marry my son for his money? It's true. Then what do you want to marry him for? I want to marry him for your money. Fair. In fact, I think my wife and I are at similar levels of income, and I know at least one couple where the Lithuanian woman was earning more than her foreign partner. And in my own case, and in the case of a few other couples I know, there's no desire to move away to Canada, the US, or the UK, or elsewhere. In fact, I think many couples who have come from those countries recognize that life in Lithuania is pretty good in many ways. Despite my own anecdotal assurances that the Lithuanian women I know aren't chasing money and a ticket out of the country, I still think it would be good to keep exploring. I asked the Foreigners and Vilnius Facebook community about this, and a few people offered some valuable things to consider. Two people pointed me to Lithuania's official statistics portal, and each person suggested a different factor. One person said that in Lithuania, women are generally more educated with more years of schooling. Along this line of thinking, they said that Lithuanian women are more likely to have better language skills and more international social circles, and thus more chances to meet someone from abroad. The other person pointed me to the fact that there are many more male immigrants than female immigrants. This could definitely be another explanation. Of course, it's worth considering that Ukrainian refugees arriving in 2022 are more likely to be women, and you'd also have to expect that some males migrating to Lithuania were already married to Lithuanian women and are relocating for family purposes. Still, the numbers are pretty clear. More foreign men are coming into Lithuania than foreign women. There are probably a lot of factors that can explain this, but for me, I simply feel like men are more likely to be adventurous, travel solo, and are much more likely to visit a lesser known country like Lithuania. Now, it's a huge generalization, and one that doesn't have any statistical backing, 
But from my observations, I think solo female travelers, and also women traveling in groups, are much more likely to visit places like the UK, Spain, Italy, and Greece than somewhere that's a little off the beaten track. So if this is the case, then there would just be way more foreign men meeting Lithuanian women than the other way around. Again, this is somewhat of a guess coming from me, and if you have information to prove otherwise, I'd honestly be happy to hear about it, so leave it in the comment section. At the same time as having this common stereotype of foreign men in relationships with Lithuanian women, I know a few Lithuanian guys who are in relationships with foreign women. And perhaps, supporting the theory I just mentioned, these are the guys who have traveled abroad and spent time overseas. Are these guys looking for a way out of Lithuania? Are they gold diggers? Probably not. This whole frivolous debate reminds me that it's worth looking at things from different angles, digging up statistics, and asking if there might be other things going on that can explain the tendency for something to be the way that it is. It's all pretty interesting, even if it might not be relevant to too many people. Do I think that there are some marriages based on the pursuit of money? Well, yeah, I'm sure that there might be a few. But I believe that there are way more marriages and relationships where people have just found the person that they want to be with. And whether they are foreign or not is less of a factor. Am I being too optimistic? I don't know. But I'd love to know what you think. Is this whole debate just stupid? Do you think that there's some truth to that person's observations and assertions? And is there anything problematic with my own reasoning and assumptions? Let me know by leaving a comment. But also keep in mind that any racist or derogatory remarks will probably be removed. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.